Okay, so we're gonna do closures. Okay, closures are basically like this. Okay, so we're gonna do a main function. It's being able to put a uh, uh, put a function into a variable. Okay, so but I'm gonna put string. A print line. Uh, we gotta put um, put string and bang. So print n plus this is from p. Okay, so we'll put that in there. All right, so. And now you're assigning p to this function, so you can call it like this. So p, um, let's say, uh, hi, friend. Okay, so we'll do it like that. All right, v, come on, come down here. Okay. So we got closure. All right, so let's run it. So it's gonna say, you know, <clears throat> so the value you pass is gonna come first, it's gonna get concatenated to this is P. So hi friend from this is P. Okay, so another thing you can do with closures is create a, fun uh, you can pass closures to another function or you can pass up functions to functions. So let's go ahead, like, uh, let's say run, okay, val string, and let's go with, um, we'll, we'll do the same thing, fn, so this is a function that passes a string, right? If you wanted to return a string, you would just put a string at the end here, okay? But that's not what we're doing today, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna control. We gotta. We have to call this function something. So we put it. It's gonna be called f. Okay. So f, and we're gonna pass this value right here into this. Okay. So val, and we're gonna say print print line uh, line. This is from the run function, okay? So we'll just reuse this function and pass it as an argument on run. So run, and we'll put, uh, we'll put, Passed from run, and then we'll put in p. Okay, so let's see what we come up with here. Okay, so you see, pass from run goes to p. Uh, okay, so pass from run. All right, so this value is going to be passed into f which is the function from here so what you're doing is you're passing from p uh, you're passing from the run you're passing um, this uh, pass from run which is going to end up being this value because this is getting passed and this this uh, generic um, function right here or uh, anonymous function right here <clears throat> is going to be p it has the same function signature you can see fn you know function string function string you know so okay that's pretty much it for closures uh, there's a lot of other things you can do with that but maybe we'll get back into that later